All right, guys, this is a 2013 Honda Accord, and the customer says they have a valet key that will start the car, and they have two of the factory keys that will not start the vehicle. Here is a picture of the valet key, just so you can see it. Uh, so I'm just going to show you a couple methods of how to test keys on a passive anti-theft system. Uh, we're going to use one of the tools is going to be from the Pico Scopes. This is a TA330. This is going to pick up a frequency of about 150,000 hertz or 150 kilohertz. We're also going to use the Autel um, IM508. We have a key reader here as well. First thing I'm going to do is start the vehicle with the valet key. Try that again. Let's let this uh, flasher time out at 10 seconds. Try that again. Okay, so the vehicle is running now, which is good. We're going to try one of these uh, factory black keys. Okay, the green key light is flashing now. That's an issue. And the vehicle won't start. Try it again. Start and stall. Now it's flashing again. So we just verified the complaint. Alright, so I'm just going to give you a quick uh, description of the immobilizer system in this 13 Honda Accord. Now, most manufacturers will do something similar to this. So when we go to turn on our ignition, there is going to be an immobilizer module. This module is going to energize an antenna coil that's wrapped around the ignition switch. After that, there is a transponder that's going to get energized and there's an ID code in here that's going to get transmitted through the vehicle. And at that point, um, this key is going to have to get authenticated. Now what most manufacturers will do is they will go through some type of challenge process uh, that's going to challenge this authentication or this key ID and this is going to involve some other modules. But our main concern today is just how to test these two keys or these three keys using the tools I mentioned before. First thing we're going to do is start off with a scan. Okay, we're going into our Altel IM508. We're going to start off with a scan. We're also going to see how many keys are actually programmed to the vehicle. Okay, we're going to go to the mobilizer status scan. And the ignition is on right now, engine is off. So take a look, it says we have three keys programmed. Okay, that's interesting. We're going to escape. At this point I could go inside the PCM and other modules and look for more fault codes possibly. That is an option I can do. Let's go into this here, fourth mechanical key system. Here's our system check, number of keys, we know that already. Let's go to status record. This is something you're going to see with Honda and Acura. Uh, well, Acura, I believe. We're going to turn the ignition off, follow the directions. Okay, status log A3. So we're going to go to service information and look this up. So we're in service information now key code mismatch. Look at some of these possibilities. Um, interference from metal such as change, uh, low battery voltage, key failure, immobilizer keyless control unit failure. Okay so we know there is some type of data that's stored inside of these keys. We want to use our Altel key reader to try to see if the, there, there is data inside these keys, if there's any numbers, uh, if, if these keys are programmed. Can this all tell read the keys? Um, let's go ahead and see. Let's go to our programmer.
we'll go to key to read and we'll go to automatic detection first we're going to take our key I guess and try doing that okay there's a key ID in here key status is locked uh, 740 is the last three high tag three okay, we're gonna put our second key in okay so we have a different key ID status is locked high tag three we, we do know that these keys worked at some point and it looks like these keys re retained their memory. That's E40. We're going to do this one again. Once again, we have our E40. Okay. Let's use our valet key. This is the third one. Automatic detection. Okay, F10. Once again, the status is locked. Okay. So it looks like these keys uh, have retained their programming for the most part. Okay, guys, so we're going to use the TA330 for the Pico Scope. And this is tuned, I guess, to pick up about 150,000 hertz. So if you try to go well beyond or above that, this probably won't work. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold this up to our ignition. We're going to turn the ignition on. And what we're going to be looking for is some data packets. And I'm going to show you what I'm referring to. All right, so this is a known good waveform for a 2014 Accord. Now this black trace here is just going to be, this is a math channel to look at our frequency. And we're have, we have about 125,000 uh, hertz. Now this is the one packet I'm talking about here. Um, now look at our scale. We're at 100 milliseconds per division, uh, 5 volts. And I'm just going to zoom in on this just to show you what this looks like here. Now we can't decipher what's going on inside of this uh, transfer of information here. My scope is kind of lagging behind, so this is not going to work out too well. Possibly it is. Here we go. So we have a very high frequency here. And the scope is still not uh, cooperating too well. There it is right there. Okay. So on a known good vehicle, when we have a good key with most manufacturers, we are going to have one packet of information. So being that I tested Hondas before, if we have a blade key that is programmed and the car starts, we should have one packet of information. If we have a programmed key that's just not working, we will have about four packets. If we have an unprogrammed key, we'll typically have seven packets. If we have an unprogrammed key uh, that is not working, or if we cover it with aluminum foil, we'll have eight packets. So, what, uh, what else uh, can this tell us? Well, we know the vehicle uh, is energizing the antenna ring so we can say that well our ignition switch is working most of these modules are getting power which is a good thing we can lim eliminate uh, quite a bit of uh, circuitry I, I guess you could say just by having a frequency come from the antenna we also know the, the antenna is working okay this tells us quite a bit of information so let's go over and look at see what we have because this is our known good waveform for 14 accord we're working on a 13 accord and let's see what we have okay so this is our 13 accord the vehicle we're working on now notice how many packets we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven this is really strange and right away I don't know what exactly is going on right now uh, I could see our frequency we're at a hundred and twenty four kilohertz it's hundred and twenty four thousand Hertz and um, 
I think I have a suspicion of what might be going on right now. Now if we went back to our status log, if you guys remember, A3, A3 indicates possible interference from uh, outside sources like this metal ring here. Alright guys, so the rest of the footage of this video is lost. Um, I will tell you that as soon as I removed that cosmetic metal ring the customer had placed around the ignition, uh, all the problems went away. The vehicle started with all three keys as expected. I kind of knew this about 15 minutes into the job, but I wanted to do some testing and make a video. Now, after I turned the ignition again using the TA330, we had one data packet of information, which is supposed to be. Uh, I decided to cover that key with foil, turn the ignition again, and once again we have 11 packets. So this tells me that the 11 packets before were not due to the interference of this this ring it's this it's the way the vehicle says that it does not recognize a key with 11 packets okay that's fine why did the 2014 Honda have four packets when you covered a uh, one of the ignition keys with tin foil um, to the best to the best of my knowledge I think both of these immobilizer systems are exactly the same so why does one have four packets and why does one have eleven well if they are both the same the only explanation I have is possibly the amount of keys that are programmed to the vehicle this 2013 had three keys programmed the 2014 I did had one key program and it was a valet key whether or not this theory is right I'm going to put this uh, tool to the test some more and just try to get everything uh, organized and really try to understand this tool and a whole lot more but um, for the most part this tool is very valuable you can automatically rule out that you know your your antenna is good uh, the modules are powering up uh, so definitely worth the money I'll leave a link in the description